Today we are going to bring this broken down river into something much more cooler and it's this wonderful Amazonian river. How we get there? Well, let's find out. And we start with a very crazy time lapse today of about two and a half or three minutes. Um, mostly because I lost the first couple of uh, minutes because of uh, a little recording mistake I did. So the um, file was corrupt, but I could at least save a little bit of it. Um, and, you know, this always happens when you work too closely together with the water in this game. I still feel like the water system and path and everything is still very uh, unstable in certain points. And uh, this is whenever I have crashed and uh, fortunately enough they are not that often uh, but whenever I have them they are well 99% of the time they are connected to something related to water uh, or path so these two systems seem to be very unstable when it comes to well intricate intricate build it uh, build, what's going on my English is completely broken uh, intricate builds that's what I wanted to say now um, real quick before we go into the real-time part in which I'm going to fix a little bit of uh, things uh, here is to why you see an Amazonian river and not the polar bear. Um, truth to be told, I'm gonna keep it very simple, I just got tired of the polar bear build. It takes so much time, it is ridiculous. Um, I will briefly show you in the real-time part, but oh my boy, this was... I, I, I sat here and, and built a lot and tried a lot of things for the polar bear, but it just didn't work out, also because of the problem with the monorail and all these kind of things. Hence, I decided to move on and just free my mind a little bit with a build build that I had in mind for so so long and also some of you commented um, very early on in this series that you think this could be cool uh, especially for this location and that's why we're building the Amazonian river today with first of all the giant otter in here but I'm also thinking about putting some of the small exhibits around here with some of uh, you know uh, um, kind of uh, other little, little critters and stuff uh, that live in this area too um, to enrich this area a bit more which you would love to see I guess in this area which is not going to happen in today's build but just in general you can see I'm trying to um, incorporate most of the stuff we had so again the idea is to refurbish as much as possible to save us money and also time and also space and all these kind of things hence we are going to go with this old uh, facility we had over here and try to do whatever we can to improve it it's gonna be very interesting to see at the end of the lost aqua and how much everything has improved I will try to make a, a tour um, side by side. I think this is going to be very interesting to see. I'm not sure if I can do it. Uh, potentially I will make the tour in the new zoo first and then just kind of try to recap the old one. I think this could be really cool and then make the tour for you guys side by side. But yeah, this is already it uh, for the time lapse. You can see most of it is done. The rest will be done in the real time part with a little bit of a problem uh, towards the end of the episode. There's going to be a little cut because my hard drive ran full. Yes, I know. I always keep forgetting to, to check my hard drive space first of all but there you go this is it um the amazonian river and keep commenting now what you love about this idea and what you want to see else in this park so thank you so much for your attention for now and let's jump over to the real time rudy to have a bit more talk hey everyone and here we are in the real time part so actually i have no idea if the uh, time lapse at the beginning was working or not. Um, so if it didn't work, I will make a different intro. But if it did work, we actually have seen already what we are up to today. But anyways, I'm uh, over here, as promised, uh, with the polar bear region for a brief moment of time. And I'm just also quickly pausing the game because I want to keep it daylight for our build today. Um, but as promised, I will give you a little glimpse of what is happening. So there are many issues I had along the way of building this. So um, as I said, I didn't do a time lapse for that but there are many many reasons to why I didn't um, it was a huge struggle you can see I changed a couple of things I tested a lot of things and I gotta say this will take a lot like a lot more time than I thought it was um, and this is the reason why we're going to skip this for a moment um, this whole habitat is working just fine for the polar bear in fact the polar bear has I think the most space it, it ever will get uh, in this game. Uh, I don't know, where is it actually? Oh, it's actually in front. Look at that. Um, so the polar bear has, as you can see, 37,000 uh, square meters of space, as well as 6,700 square meters of navigable deep dive area, which is just fantastic. And uh, to keep it actually in the front here for the people, 
Um, I have uh, all the enrichment items put in the front now just to have it walk over here. I think that's pretty good for the educational reasons and it's also pretty good just in general. Oh, speaking of education, by the way, let's plop down real quick uh, some of the education boards over here. So we can just plop one here and the other one goes just over there. And then we're just going to quickly select the polar bear. So we have a bit of education going on over here. Um, obviously, we will have more education as well on that tower. But everything, I, I will do this um, definitely not during a recording. It just takes too much time. The same goes for making this plaza look nice and also making this plaza actually not only look nice, but connected to the monorail. Speaking of which, the monorail obviously is another little issue we have because as you guys told me in the comments and i had no freaking idea about this the monorail only acts like a transportation ride rather than a viewing ride or like tour that means we will need a second station of this ride to make people actually jump on it um and i haven't really decided to what i do now what we can do and that was one idea i had uh, we can definitely have a second entrance as we all know by now so we can go to guest facilities and get a spawn point down here so guest spawner is definitely something i am considering to put down here in the back maybe make like a little bus uh, a bus hub or whatnot and then make them join the park here and then have a um, monorail you know connecting point here and we obviously have the path going all the way around which could be a natural like tour anyways let's jump back into our project and i'm going to be rather quickly now in building um i talked about this build hopefully in the time lapse if not um, i might include a little bit of a trivia about this thing at the beginning as well but you can see this is our amazonian river we have over here and i've got some some very cool ideas to make this entire area good but as we all know the first thing we have to do is to get rid of the pain uh, of our wonderful pathways as you can see and i was already expecting that to happen um, let me just quickly do one thing. I'm just going to turn off the curved slopes and we're going to drag it all the way down and then hopefully, okay, this is not working already. Whoops. Let's just undo all of it. Why is it so long? By the way, the elevated lengths should be, oh, that's why. Okay. Let's go all the way back. Yeah, there you go. And hopefully this is going to make us, yeah, this is, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And now hopefully the same works over here was it three is it three yeah there you go this is the little bridge we have over here um we also might do a fake path alongside this as like the disabled uh, access because obviously with the staircase that would work uh, speaking of can we just connect it like so no we can't okay let's undo this because that looks that looks actually pretty nice it looks pretty pretty clean pretty tidy uh, what we can do obviously is we could try to okay it doesn't work because of the plaza here so no you are gonna keep it that way um, and we're going to have uh, the railing on elevated and then we are going to use uh, a wooden bridge why not this is I think this fits pretty well or can we take some darker wood this is yeah it doesn't really fit well uh, it doesn't. I, I really still love to have the ability to switch the railing and the, the path, you know, myself, because that would make a lot of sense because some of the, you know, some of the railings would work very nicely together with others. So, you know, that would be really cool. But um, at this point, I think we don't. I'm going to keep that bridge instead. Let me just go undo. No, I'm going to keep it for the moment and maybe we are going to change it anyways. Okay, so this is this is that. And you know what? Let's just quickly do the disabled uh, bridge as well. Or like the um, that uh, disabled bridge sounds pretty wrong. It's a it's a wheelchair bridge. That's that's how we could uh, say that. So concrete uh, is going to work hopefully now. Let's see. I'm going to use a bigger a bigger piece. Um that one is pretty nice yeah that's the one we are going to use that's that's the piece we're going to use and we're going to color this relatively nice in like a darkish brown there you go and then we're going to bring this all the way down here is this it's not really straight is it though i want to have it straight so we're going to have it on here making sure that this is all the way straight I'm not gonna have a problem here though um and we're gonna make it like a very subtle ramp out of it so there you go just bring that a little bit like so we shouldn't have an issue with the, uh, the animals swimming down there so just gonna keep it the way it is and bring that 
down here. And uh, that's already enough. Okay, cool. So um, what we should really quickly do is I will have it to one side so I can put them down myself if I want to. So let's make it that way. And we're gonna just bring this to the other side as well. So we have a lovely little sweeping nice bridge. And obviously we're gonna make that work. Oops, uh, just like so. Um, is that fine? We can have a little, whoop, nope, not that angle though. So we can have like a little connecting here and just a tiny bit more like so, and then drag it all over a little bit. It can connect to the ground here. Not having an issue with that one, so nice. That's pretty much is exactly what I wanted. And now let's go into the building, save fence, and we're going to use, which one are we going to use though? Um, I like that one. Still people could jump down. We might need to use a fen mesh fence like that. Or do we use that one? Very uncertain here to which I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go with my classic one. Still can't, still can't uh, recolor that one, but I think it's fine. You know, put this here, put this there, you know. Sometimes it's kind of cool to work without the advanced move because you can make use of the different angles, as you can see. Uh, is that like still, no, why is it so weirdly positioned here? That makes no sense in my mind, but okay. Now I found this one here, good stuff, and let's bring this into, I gotta sh I should put it from this side, that's a lot more simple, there you go, nice, okay, so what we're going to do now is gonna here type in mulch, and then we're going to have this one, and just drag it all the way in here always, honestly, just bring it down a tad bit, there you go, I'm just going to follow the bridge real quick, so that we... Have it really nicely aligned. So there you go. Can put some bushes in between, you know, just making it making it work really nicely though. There you go. I like that. See, and this is then the point where it would be so cool to have the ability to um actually uh, disable the, the the railing on one side only of the path. This is another option I would love to have. Like these two things would already tremendously improve the pathing um, by just having like one on one side um, the ability to or like once the ability to exchange the different railing types with the different path types, and also making sure you can have railing to the right or left only. Um, that would already help massively, not gonna lie, that would be really cool. Okay, before we do a whole bunch of more um, foliage and stuff, we are going to bring down the path here to have our wonderful viewing spot in the ground. Um, wait, I'm gonna do this, um, but this is the wrong the wrong thing. There you go, path, and I'm, I'm willing to have a dark path down here. Let's put it this way, and hopefully I can... Um, okay, well, this is not exactly what I wanted, but maybe, only maybe, yeah, this is the connection piece I was looking for. Uh, I have no clue if, okay, well, <laughs> my, my, my uh, question is answered. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Okay, so the only chance I see here is to enable the elevator length again and the, um, wait, this is both not really what I wanted. I need the curved slopes. There you go. I'm just hoping that we can make this curve. Okay, it's not gonna work anyways. Is it? Oh my god, it's it seems like it could actually work. Can I have... This is good. I did not expect this to happen. Okay, now we just need to... We just need to get this connected somehow. Intersecting terrain. You're telling me this is not... Okay, well, we had it connected once, right? There you go. How about... Wait, I can undo this, but there's always a way of connecting it here. Look at that. Sweet! Okay, see, this staircase looks absolutely madly shit. Um, but we're going to cover this anyway with a lot of stones and stuff. Uh, one thing i got to do first, then, is uh, let me get the... Are we in facilities? No. Gonna get the curb here. There you go. And give me the curb. Gonna bring this here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is really quickly just marking this side so that when we put the stone, they're not going there. And the same goes here for the inside. Just making sure that they can't use this bit, okay? So just like that. Also, this is a nice little trick to control the gas flow a little bit better here. Um, 
So this time around, I won't look into elevators or stuff because I, I still think, you know, you could have a wonderful view with the wheelchair from over here anyways, like nice little spots. You can even drag it here and have a special watch over here as well. It's just like for the kids and stuff to go down. Um, can't really look at this forever, to be honest, um, even though I would love to have more abilities in the game, just as like an elevator would be really cool for driving inclusion even more, um, especially where Frontier already has set some really good examples with, for example, having, um, you know, uh, you know, homophobic stuff, uh, homophobic is the wrong word, they actually have um, gay couples in here and stuff like that, which I really do love that they did this, uh, really, really big fan of this, and they even had this already in Planko, so um, I always have to smile when people say how cool that is and they feel very good about this, a uh, really good move of Frontier back in the day already. Uh, so yeah, it's, it pays off and I really hope that they can drive it even further. That would be that would be massively appreciated, not gonna lie. Okay, so we're going to put all of these things now away. Uh, let me just get rid of these real quick. No, 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 not that. Just this one and these tiny ones in the way here. Okay, I'm gonna have to click them individually. And then we're going to make this soil heavy terrain here because that should be like mostly like a planter anyways. Okay, cool. Look at that, this looks sweet. And um, we're gonna throw some stones down here. Um, let me go down, nature. I'm gonna have some moss pieces, like moss rocks. I think this could be really cool as like a connection. Just making it like as if it is uh, really the the lower area of the Amazonian River. Just making sure this looks uh, really nicely embedded here. Just tiny ones as well. Like this, I'm gonna have like a bigger one. Just go like so, nice and sweet. I love that, I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna have this rock here. Not going to make this all with these rocks, just like in these places, because I feel like this is good. Um, and the rest will be done again with the four rocks, because I'm a big fan of the four rock pieces. Uh, we're going to use actually these ones. Um, not only because they look good, but also because they're realistic. They are most likely done with these kind of fiber, um, how's this called again? Not fiber. Is it fiberglass though? Uh, I think there's like a, um, a material that is called something with fiber is in, in the name of the material and that is um, actually the material that they use to create these four rock pieces for underwater because eventually one thing I also completely forgot about in the early days of playing Planet Zoo is that of course like many things can't be done with like natural rocks and stuff in the water because it would actually make the water look a lot more dirty and stuff so mossy pieces and stuff in the water in zoos are most likely not always but most likely they are uh, fake in in order to make sure that they don't um you know make the water dirty and stuff so that is uh, something very clever if you ask me uh, to pr prevent the water from becoming too dirty and and poisoned you know um can we also have a, a full rock again you just put in four. Uh, there is this piece. Why is it not the color I wanted it to be in? Okay, let's just recolor it. I hope it's still in the mix here. I can add, you know, why not? Have a, have a brighter one as well. Let's mix some brighter rocks in as well. Why not? This looks... Hey, why are you not the color I just chose? Uh, sometimes it's actually weird why it's not sticking in the same color. But, you know, as long as it does what it does when I tell it or when I have done it all, then it's all good. Shall we go and have uh, a little go with these pieces here? Yeah, come on, let's just quickly do this. I didn't want to do it that much detail here in the real-time build, but okay, now as we're doing it, it should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna block, block this piece out as well, like just making sure we have some cool rock pieces here as well. Mm. I think I'm just going to use that one again here, like this, and then we're going to put this one in, just like rounding that off. Look at that, sweet. Okay, so we've got this done, um, and what I want to do obviously is get some, some foliage down here as well, making sure it looks all a bit more overgrown, because we are here in the tropical Amazonian area and um yeah we have to put some heaters and stuff in of, of course no, don't don't get me wrong i 
I fully, I am fully aware that this is not the way we should treat that all the time. Also, I did, oh, there's this piece. Okay, I wanted to reuse some of these old pieces here, just making sure we have like a little bit of a cover. What I'm going to do though is I'm gonna repaint this thing to somewhat a bit more Amazonian color. There you go. And this one is going to become greenish, maybe even darker. There you go, like it. Can we recolor that, 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 that one, <laughs> the, the, the German in me, that's one as well. Uh, this one is also getting pretty, um, green. There you go, I like it, okay. Now let's just quickly make a little bit of a nice uh, roof here. Just like a tiny one that goes to this side because I want to make sure that this, this view over here is not blocked by the roof. So I'm just going to put that roof here, like so. Um, and then obviously we can also have the roof be here, just like to this side, because I want to make sure that this all looks, yeah, there you go. That's, that's kind of cool though. Just hugging this whole area a little bit more nicely. And then we are just having the same roof go over here because I want them to go down to have the full view, obviously. There you go. I think this is kind of nice. You go that one, you have to, you have to view and it's rather blocked from this side. Oh my God. Why is it? Why is it doing that? I'm just going to pull off. Oh, yeah, there you go. Let's pull them back a little. There you go. And now um, we can go and say filters, biome, tropical, aquatic, and grassland and continent was a thousand Central America. And we're just going to get rid of the four. And then we're just going to have blueprints of. There you go. And now we search for something that we can put in front of this to make it look blocked. Do we have, do we have some nice pieces here that can help? There you go. I think the scavola is good enough for that. Maybe the smaller version of it. Uh, is there anything better? We've got the moss. We've got that one. Mm, no, I think this one is actually pretty good. So we're going to keep it lower, lower hanging here like a little bit. Just can grow a tiny bit higher. Why not? This is nice. Again, I want to block the view a little bit for the people so that they have to go here and then they have to go down. And I think this is actually, this is really delivering it. Okay, cool. We've done that. This side is most likely done. Um, we also need kind of a wall here to block the view a little bit, but this is something for later. First of all, what we got to do is we got to make sure that the habitat itself is working properly. So what we're going to keep is this thing because I like this thing quite a bit. This thing is um, something we have to get rid of. I'm not sure what we will put here. So I'm going to bring this over a little bit, just a tiny bit over here. And we can also have, oops, have certain things moved. If this is all moved as well, nice and tidy. There you go. We can also get rid of this lantern by, uh, the, the, the camera, by the way. Rotation line feeder is also not needed anymore. And we got to get rid of these pillars because they are not really mandatory anymore. Uh, of course, because we don't have the slide. Uh, nope, that was, oh my God. <laughs> that was so wrong. So damn wrong. Can I just have these, please? That looks a lot better. That looks a lot better, guys. All right, so my hard drive actually went full and I didn't see that, but uh, well, actually you see the full habitat now, um, which is nearly done. So um, I think this is a very good point to round this episode off. Um, we are just going to put down a couple of little things. You can see the otters are in. They uh, just lack a little bit of enrichment, which we're going to do real quick. I guess um, that's the one we do. You can see basically everything else is just fine. We can uh, go to our plants real quick here um, and just put a couple of things in to make this habitat maybe look even better. Um, I'm a big fan of this one, by the way, as well. So we can just have that one as a lower growing one as well, just putting it that in here. Um, and just also a couple of plants here to the side. So to make it all look a little bit more uh, in in the midst of it, you know, really making sure everything is nice and uh, sweet in the middle. Uh, we can also have uh, that one just like here, you know, just making sure this looks really like the Amazonian river here. I really like the fact that this all seems to be really nicely in here. And also um, what I like to have as well is just a bit more control over 
um, the, the foliage just in general and things like that are the only ones that we can realistically grow in a central European region anyways. It's not really the acai palm, it's more like the coconut palm, but you get the idea, you know, making sure that we have some palm trees here and there, just making sure it looks good and then everything else has to be done with heaters and stuff anyways, which uh, I will take care of later on uh, together with the polar bear stuff, but you can really tell how nice this comes together. Um, let's throw some of the enrichment items in as well. They can have some some balls as well. Also, I want to have the, the underwater feeder. A uh, feeder? Feeder? Underwater feeder. This is what we need to say. Uh, okay. Um, this might not work because it's not deep enough, right? Oh, it is. Oh, they fixed that. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Okay. So this one won't work anyways, but we still have plenty of space left here, for example, for the mud pool. So this is also why I didn't do any height elevations quite yet, because, well, as you can tell, it's not really a thing. And they also have this wonderful slide, uh, which they can actually access, which is a cool thing. Just going to put some VFX on it as well. And just to show you, there is so much space left. Land space is a little bit getting closer to not being enough, but we can still do a couple of things. I added this tiny bit here in the back so that they have a reason to swim here. And uh, well, that's about it. This is today's episode uh, with our Amazonian river for the otter. And I think this is really, really cool. I think the result, the end result is really sweet. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did enjoy, please make sure to subscribe for more. This helps to grow the channel and leave me some feedback on what we should do next. That would be highly appreciated. I talk to you in the next one. Have a good time and goodbye.